Hello and welcome to Raising the Bar. I'm Jamie Boudreau. Today we're going to be making a cocktail called the Pumpkin King. But before we get to the cocktail, we need to make one of the ingredients. And that is a beer liqueur. Now today we're going to be using a pumpkin beer, a nice spiced pumpkin beer. This, I'm using Southern Tier Pumpkin, hence the name of the cocktail. And we're going to be putting this into a pot and making, for all intentions purposes, um, a, a syrup of, of some kind. Um, so it's, it's just like you're making simple syrup, but with more flavors added. So again, on a nice hot pot beer, and I'm pouring this from a height, so I want to get a lot of that carbonation out. Two, uh, one part liquid, two parts sugar, and we're going to add cinnamon stick to help up that pumpkin spice, some allspice, and we're going to stir that around for quite a bit on some heat to integrate all of that sugar. And you're going to find that as you do this, being a carbonated product and, and beer, you're going to get a a lot of foam and head going on. And you kind of want this. We're going to separate some of the yeasts and, and carbonation that's present in the beer from the actual beer itself. So I'm going to stir this for quite a bit here and have it on high heat. And now you have to keep a close eye on this thing. Do not step away from your pot. Because what's going to happen is this, this beer, this, this syrup we're making uh, out of beer is going to grow exponentially and it's going to grow quickly. It, you're not going to see it doing much and all of a sudden a ton of foam. So I'm going to keep stirring this, integrate all that sugar, try to get all that carbonation out, mixing in that allspice and cinnamon. Great for the fall. And you can see now it's all milky. You can't even see any beer. It's just all milky white foamy goodness. And I'm going to do this for probably around five minutes or so. And you're going to see after that time, it's going to start expanding and expanding. Just, just as, as if you were working with a lot of sugar, um, it, it making, it making caramel and, and, and other such things. You're going to see this expand rapidly. Um, and that's, and that's an, a good thing. You want that to happen. But again, keep an eye on it. So once it starts expanding, all you have to do is turn off your heat and set it aside and we'll go to the next step. So you've let the beer liqueur sit uh, for a little bit. And what you're going to want to do now is skim off all of this head, this sticky head that you're going to have. You want to get some of those solids with it as well until you're left with mostly, mostly just beer. We're going to take a bottle, put a funnel in it to make our life a little bit easier, and we're going to filter out any solids and hopefully some more of the, of the foam. And fill that up around four-fifths of the way. So what we have now is, is, our, is our pumpkin syrup. We need to make this into a liqueur. So how we do that is by adding booze. In this case, we're going to add cognac, which I think goes quite nicely with the pumpkin. Just a bit of cognac in there. Helps fortify it, helps prolong the life, helps make it less thick and sweet. And we now have pumpkin liqueur that is ready for our drink, the Pumpkin King cocktail. So now that we've finished making the beer liqueur, we can go ahead and make our cocktail, the Pumpkin King cocktail. One and a half ounces of a wonderful blended scotch whiskey, in this case pig's nose. Half ounce of that pumpkin liqueur that you just finished making. Make sure it cools down. Don't, don't put it in there hot. Half ounce of lime juice and a dash of Bitter Truth Aromatic Bitters. 
add more of that pumpkin spice to the mix. Give that a good shake. Grab a Collins glass, fill it with ice. Make sure that's good and tasty. It is indeed nice and refreshing. Now you're gonna have some room left over. That is okay, because we're not quite done. I'm gonna to top that up with some ginger beer. So I think what we've just done here, we've added lovely scotch, good flavors there, or lighter scotch. That pumpkin spice, which had allspice and cinnamon, you know, the clove and nutmeg notes from the, uh, from the bitter truth. Now some ginger. Another great fall, winter drink. Put a straw in there. Make it nice and fancy. We'll cut up a lime. Do it as a wheel, because I really don't want people to, to put lime in there. It's perfectly balanced right now. So we'll just do a nice lime wheel. And we can serve up the Pumpkin King. Sante.